Welcome to lecture number 28 of the series Unreal 5.1 for Arcways and in today's lecture we'll apply materials to our exterior static meshes okay so let's get started now I removed the fence that I had beforehand because it just uh, looked kind of boring and I model a new one you can keep the previous one if you want or you can also model this fence it is a pretty straightforward mesh yes so let's now add materials to our exterior walls I'm gonna use the same material that I used for my interior wall. Let's create a copy and I'll apply this material on this static mesh. Okay, let's open this material and let's adjust brightness and contrast. I'll check my LB2 controls and let's increase the contrast. Yeah, I think this looks okay. Yes. Let's bring down the saturation value. Okay. Yeah. Let's create a copy of this material instance and I'll apply this material instance on this static mesh because I believe there is going to be some imbalance in the tile sizes. Let's bring down the camera speed. I'll open this material instance and let's tweak the tile size. Let's try two, and maybe one. Yes, I think one is okay. Yes. Let's create another material instance by copying this one. I'll apply this material instance on this mesh. And let's, I think the tile size is fine for this one. Okay. Let's create another copy and I'll apply this material instance on this wall and let's adjust the tile size. I'll increase this to maybe 1.5 or maybe 1.5 is okay as well. Let's bring it down to 1.25. Yeah, I think it looks much better now yes okay 1.25 is fine okay yeah let's create another copy and let's apply this material instance on this wall and we need to adjust the tile size so let's try two yes let's bring this down to three maybe Yeah, I think let's try five. Five is just too much, so let's bring this down to four. Let's try 4.5. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's create another material instance by copying this one and let's apply this material instance on this wall and I'll adjust the tile size. I think the tile size is okay yes okay I don't need to tweak for this one okay let's create another copy and I'll apply this material instance on this wall and let's adjust the tile size yeah we need to change for this one let's try five And I believe five is okay. Yeah. Yes, five is fine. Let's apply this white material on our roof. Okay. Let me increase my camera speed. Yes. 
Ja. I'll take this material and apply on this one. Let me bring down my camera speed to 2. And let's have a look. Yeah, let's scale this to maybe 10. Yeah, I think it's okay. This is fine. Yeah, okay. Let's increase the camera speed. Yes. So let's now find a material for this fence in Megaskins library. I'll open my Quixel Bridge Megaskins library and let's look for a texture for this fence. I'm looking for a wooden texture, okay. Let's scroll down. And I'm gonna use this texture for my fence, okay? You can download this in high quality as well, but I already have downloaded this in medium quality. So I'm just gonna add this one, okay? I'll add this into my project. And Let's save everything and let's apply this material instance on this one. I'll open this material instance and let's adjust the tile size. Let's increase this to 3 maybe. Yeah, okay, I think 3 is fine. Let's try 2. Two looks good as well. Yeah, let's try two point five. Let's keep it at two point five and let me adjust this offset on X and Y. Yeah, okay, yes. Now I'll select all of these. I'll select all of these and by selecting this material instance on my content browser, I'll click on this arrow. Okay. Yeah. Let's increase the camera speed and I'll select all of these. And by making sure that my material instance is selecting in my content browser, I'll click on this arrow and it will apply the same material on my other objects as well. Okay, yeah, let's select all of these and apply the same material. Mm, yes, okay. I think we need to adjust the offset for this material instance on these objects. Let's create a copy and let's apply this material instance on these objects. I'll select all of these and let's apply this material instance. I'll open this material instance and let's adjust the offset. Yeah, this looks much better, okay. But we need to align this screw line with the other side as well. So let's align this. Okay, so we have finally found the offset values for this fence. Let's now apply the same material on the static meshes as well.
I'll click on this arrow and apply the same material on all of my static meshes. Similarly, I'll select all of these. And I'll apply this material on my static meshes. Maybe let's apply this one. Yeah, okay, this one looks much better. Yes, okay. Let's now download a texture for these borders. This one. I'll go into the Megaskins library and let's download a texture. And I'm going to use this texture, okay? Let's add this into the project and let's apply this texture on this mesh. I'll select this material instance and I'll click on this arrow, okay? Let's adjust the brightness and contrast. I'll increase the contrast. Yeah, okay. Let's decrease the brightness. Yes. And let's decrease the saturation value. Yeah, I think this looks much better. Okay. Yes. Let's rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay. Yes. Now I'll select all of these meshes and I'll apply the same material instance on all of these. Okay. Okay, so we have successfully added this texture on all of these meshes. Now for these static meshes, I'll use the same material that I used for my window frames. Okay. Let's search for this material in the content browser. Now it will be a very lengthy process if I apply this material instance on all of these static meshes individually. So what I'll do is. I'll select this perspective option and let's select left side okay and by clicking on my right mouse button I'll select all of these upper static meshes okay and I'll apply this material instance by clicking on this arrow similarly I'll select all of these upper static meshes by holding my left mouse button okay and I'll apply this material instance on these static meshes by clicking on this arrow similarly I'll go into the front side and I'll select all of these static meshes let's click on this display to materials and let's apply this material instance on all of them. Similarly, I'll select all of these static meshes and let's apply the same material. Let's now go into the perspective mode. Now, as you can see, that we have applied that material instance on these static meshes. Okay. But I think we still have to apply that material on these meshes. So I'll select them individually.
yeah okay so our exterior now looks much better now we need to find the material for the water of this pool and for that i'll migrate a water material from a different project of unreal so let's open unreal engine and once our unreal project browser is open i'll select this architecture option and let's open this pre-made project of arcways you can also save this project let's create this project Once our project is open, I'm gonna use this water material in my Arquis project. Okay, let's look for this in content browser. I'll go into asset actions and I'll migrate this material instance. I'll press OK. And make sure you select the content folder of your Arquis project. And I'll select this folder and it will migrate this material instance on my Arquis project and by using the same process you can migrate any texture any static mesh from one project to other okay let's now close this project and I'll reopen my Arquis project and it will create a new folder in my content folder building let's open this folder and we'll have our water material let's drag this material on this pool and now as you can see that we have a very nice water material for our pool it will look much better once we'll apply a texture for this pool so let's go into the quixel bridge mega scans library and i'll go into tiles collection And I'm gonna use this material for my pool tiles. You can download this in high quality as well, but I already have downloaded the low quality, so I'm just gonna use that one. I'll add this into my project and let's apply this material instance on our pool. Okay, let's scale this down. Maybe try five. Yeah, okay. And now as you can see that our pool looks much better. Let's adjust brightness and contrast. I'll increase the brightness and contrast as well. Yeah, okay. This looks much better. Now, if I open this water material, you can adjust a lot of settings in here. For example, if you want to increase the flow speed of your water, tweak these values now let's keep it as it is similarly you can increase the wave size the wave strength as well okay yeah yes let's now find a material for our lawn Let's go into the Megascans library and let's open the ground collection and let's look for a material for our ground. I'm gonna use this one. I'll add this into my project and let's apply this material on the ground. We need to adjust the tile size and let's increase the tile size to maybe 20. Yeah, I think 20 is fine. Yes, don't worry about these repetition of textures because we'll download grass from Megaskins library and we'll have some very nice grass for our lawn. So don't worry about these repetitions of textures. Okay, yes, yeah. So our exteriors now look much better than before. Okay. So yes, I think that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll do some lightning for our living room and our bedroom. It is gonna be a very important lecture, so make sure you don't miss that one. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.